If you need some coins to add some ballers to your team, make sure you go ahead and check out MudReserve.com. Fast service, great rates, no need to rely on pack luck. Get yourself some coins, buy the players you want, use code SPREE at checkout for 15% off. What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having another fantastic day today. You can call me Spree and welcome back to another No Money Spent video. Firstly, I just want to go ahead and say thank you for all of the support that I've been getting on all of my videos. The support has been absolutely insane. I really do appreciate it. A lot has happened over the last couple of days. Madden 21, the MVP edition has dropped. All of the pre-order rewards that came with it became available. I went ahead and broke down my rewards, all of the things that I pulled, all of the coins I made in an earlier video. I will put a link to that in the cards above. So we definitely have some new additions after opening up those packs. I've still been diving in trying to grind out solo challenges and if you went ahead and checked out my last video we broke down a way to go ahead and pick up team builder cards pretty much for free otherwise very very cheaply so we've gone ahead and picked up a bunch of those to upgrade the team today now being honest up front there is no gameplay in this video this is going to be the last video of us building up our team in the next episode episode number three we're going to be jumping into head-to-head -head season seeing what our no money spent team is made of but we definitely have some upgrades we need to do before we can go ahead and play with the big boys in head-to-head -head seasons one last thing before we go ahead and start upgrading the team if you enjoyed the video if you enjoy the content if you have a good time definitely think about popping down hitting that like button down below if you haven't already go ahead and hit that subscribe button make sure you turn those notifications on we're gonna be grinding we're gonna be dropping a lot of content make sure you're subscribed so you can check out what we do in the future as well all right everybody Let's go check out the team. This is how we left our team after the first episode. If you haven't gone ahead and seen that already, make sure you do so. I'll put a link to it down in the description below. But as you can see, we still have a bunch of silvers and bronzes in the team. Moving over to the defensive side, we even have some bronzes in starting positions. We need to go ahead and upgrade those positions so we don't have to have any of those really trash players, those bronzes, those silvers in the team. I think going ahead, removing all the silvers, all the bronzes, and then checking what the lineup is looking like like after that is going to be the move. So let's go ahead and do that. Bro, they really have to do something about these loading screens. They are crazy slow. It took a little while to do, but this is the team now. As you can see, we have a bunch of positions that we're going to need to fill to have a valid lineup. Over on the defensive side of the ball, there's gonna be some gaps there as well. Dang, I just realized getting rid of all those trash players, those bronzes, those silvers, actually boosted our overall. We're up to a 77 now. Before we go ahead and start updating our roster, we do have a few packs to go ahead and open. Now these packs aren't anything crazy. We still have those NAT 70 overall fantasy packs. I think some of those cards might go into those theme diamond sets. So I'm gonna hold on to those just in case I decide to go ahead and start filling those out. Probably not gonna pull too much from these get a gold players but let's dive on in let's try to be great one big pull could be a big game changer as you can see we don't have too much coins at the moment maybe a big elite maybe a big coin card right there a 70 overall to start on to the next one here another gold is it higher a 70 two minimum overall cards so far what about this one are we gonna get higher than a 70 71 probably right <laughs> i don't think ea quite knows the rules when you run no money spent you need a little bit of extra pack heat to help you build your team to help you build up that squad to be able to compete with those goons out there right there that's gonna be a rookie card well uh those get a gold players were hot trash <laughs> All right, with that out of the way, let's go make some upgrades to the team. I want to start off here in the sets, 84 overall team builder fantasy pack. Now there's a lot of team builder cards out there, but there are definitely some that are glitchier, that are definitely better than the rest. The thing that sets those cards apart, speed. Speed is important early in the game. Being able to pick up guys that are lower overall, but with really, really good speed is going to be a really good way to build up your team without spending crazy amounts of coins. Now what makes this set even better is you can go ahead and do it enough times to start building players up for free make sure you go ahead and check out my previous video if you want a more in-depth breakdown but if you can go ahead and snipe these 77 to 79 overall cards these 80 to 82 overall elite you're going to be able to build this setup really really cheaply if you want you can go ahead and sell the cards pocket the difference keep building up these sets until you're able to keep one of the cards without any cost to yourself and that's exactly what i went ahead and did but we didn't pick up one card not two not three we ended up picking up six 
new team builders to add to the team to upgrade the squad. Now I know what some of you guys are gonna be thinking. This guy doesn't even have any coins. If he was able to go ahead and do those sets for free, where are his coins? As you can see, we have a couple of power-ups, in particular Tyreek Hill, not one, but two of his power-ups. I definitely wanna go ahead and add Tyreek Hill to the team at some point, but we didn't go ahead and buy these cards for the team. Each of these cards are going to be an investment. Because everyone was opening up pre-order packs, the market was flooded with a whole bunch of cards, people were trying to undercut, trying to sell these cards really cheaply. I was able to pick up Patrick Mahomes for about 2,000 coins a pop. Now looking at his price, it's still pretty low, 2,900 coins. I definitely expect it to go up over the next few days, over the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna hold on to those cards, play the long game, be able to pocket a little bit of profit when I can sell those cards. Tyreek Hill, on the other hand, is actually going to be a nice quick investment for me to profit off. I was able to pick up both of these cards for 120,000 coins combined. And if we go ahead and look at his price, it's sitting in that 90,000 coin range. I wouldn't be surprised if it pushes back over 100,000 coins. So clearly we've made a lot of profit there. I do have a couple of options. I could sell the cards take all of the coins, go ahead and pick up a whole bunch of different upgrades for the team. I could also go ahead and keep one of them, sell the other, put a power up pass, maybe when I hit level 50 and get that fully powered up 91 speed Tyree Killer on the team. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below if you think I should go ahead and add Tyreek Hill to the team. We're back looking at the offense again. We have some new faces to add to the team, starting with the quarterback position. All of you know exactly who it's going to be, Lamar Jackson, the cover athlete. Peeping his stats, 88 speed at the quarterback position. That is going to be crazy. Good throw power, some pretty average throwing accuracy, but this card's gonna be a lot of fun to use. Another player we were able to add with our MVP edition rewards was this man, Saquon Barkley. As you can see though, he's slotting in at that number two running back position. The guy who is going to be our halfback one, the first of our new team builder edition, is going to be this man, Cam Akers, 88 speed. That's going to be great. You're going to have 88 speed at quarterback and at running back. If we go ahead and pick up Tyreek Hill, we're going to have that crazy trio of high speed cards. That's exactly what you want to have early in the year. Next up, the tight end position gets a little bit of love. We have another team builder, 84 overall, Jonu Smith. This man is looking glitchy for a day one tight end, 85 speed, good catching, good catching traffic. Not the greatest route running, really solid run block. This is going to be a great addition to anyone's team. The offense as a whole is definitely looking a lot more competitive. We have one more upgrade on the offense and that is going to be boosting up our level master, Andre Johnson. We've gone ahead and done all of the level challenges that we have available. This card is now gonna be boosted up to an 87 overall, 85 speed, 85 catching, catching traffic, much better route running. I think this card is going to start to feel like a really really glitchy card. After all of that, this is what the offense is looking like. Pretty darn solid, especially compared to where we were at the start of this video. Now I do want to add a solid backup tight end. I'm not sure what formation I'm gonna be running. We may need two solid tight ends. I'd also like to go a little bit deeper at the wide receiver position, maybe picking up a third and fourth guy that I think is going to be quite usable. Maybe a super fast, glitchy, high overall card. Anyone have any ideas? And finally, I think we need to give the offensive line a little bit of love, maybe boosting the golds up to higher overall golds will be enough. Might have to move them all to lower tier elites. I'm really happy with where the offense is at. A few little upgrades and we're going to be ready to roll, hit the ground running in head-to-head -head seasons. First up on the defensive side of the ball, we have a bunch of empty positions. I'm hoping that we have a couple of gold cards just sitting in the binder to fill in these spots in the meantime. Okay, we're gonna have to play some of these guys out of position, but we do have gold filling out all of those positions. We have a new starting strong safety, this man, Terrell Edmonds. 89 speed, 89 excel, 90 hit power, six foot one. He's going to be a great card to have at the back. Also gonna be a good option if I wanna go ahead and start using him. We had to go ahead and give him a new partner in crime, Team Builder Jeremy Chin is going to be our new starting free safety. This card might actually be even crazier as a user. 88 speed, 90 excel, 85 hit power, all of those are great. He's also got 90 jumping, 
but that six foot three body, he's going to be able to make a whole lot of plays. I'm super hyped to be able to test this card out. The last position group with a whole bunch of changes is going to be the cornerback group. The final new faces to add to the team, AJ Terrell, 90 speed at cornerback, team builder, going to be a great number one corner. And then on the other side, Trey Wayne's 89 speed. We need that speed at that position. I think these guys are going to do a good job. The very last thing we can go ahead and do is upgrade our Mutt Master Sam Mills up one overall. And after all that, this is going to be the defense. We've added a lot of speed. I like the additions. I think this group is going to make a lot of plays for us. We definitely need to go ahead and give our pass rushers, our defensive line, a little bit of love. I definitely have a feeling we're going to need someone slightly better at the cornerback three position. I tend to have my cornerback three pretty much on the field every single play. Overall, it's crazy how much better this this team is looking as you can see top right corner 79 overall we are slowly improving the team bit by bit we do have a bunch of upgrades we're going to need to do i want to keep grinding out some solo so we can pick up some players maybe like a jack youngblood i think he'd be a solid addition to the defensive line although we've made some big upgrades to the team i still think there are some positions we're going to have to upgrade before i'm comfortable going ahead into head-to-head -head seasons ready to go against the goons that we're going to be playing and just like that i think that might be a wrap for episode two before the next no money spent video i definitely want to go ahead and complete the mutt levels make sure we have all the power up passes we need definitely going to have to build up my coin stack again and i'd like to make a bunch of upgrades so i'm ready to hit the ground running ready to put on a show in head to head seasons before we finish up today make sure you go ahead and hit that like button hit that subscribe button i hope you enjoyed episode number two of the no money spent series i'm enjoying the grind we're putting in a lot of effort it's taking a lot of time to upgrade this team but i'm hyped to see how much it's grown in the first two episodes imagine how crazy this team is going to be as we progress thank you very much for coming through i hope you enjoy the rest of your day take it easy everyone you can call me spree and we out